I'm Caden Celine Mitchell. I was just interviewed by Keith Andrew and we had lots of fun, so make sure you go watch it. The whole point of my talk show is to show people that even with having a learning disability, I can sell them out to something. And at the same time, I'm able to turn myself into an example for people out there dealing with any types of learning disabilities and disabilities. Never give up and prove people wrong. Prove to them that labels do not dictate who you are we go on big, screw the guy, stem out to something. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Andy Mellick is 1106. But in short terms, it's episode number six of 12, <laughs> 1200. It's episode number six of season 12. It sounds kind of bizarre to say 1106, but it's easier just to say episode. 12, season 12, number 6. Don't mind me, I'm distracted by your beauty. <laughs> part of, it's part of my disability too, I have ADD. Easily distracted by shiny objects. <laughs> so the qu first question I want to ask you is tell our audience a little bit about yourself and your background. Okay, I'm Cadence Celine Mitchell. I am an actor and I'm 19 years old. I've been acting in, in the acting field since 2020, but I've been working for nonprofit organizations um, for all of acting things all of my life. So I guess I've been on camera my whole life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Who inspired you to be on camera? Um, oof. I think I think I watched a movie with Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya, and I think I from that point on I was like. This is what I want to do. This is I. I feel so comfortable being behind a cam or being in front of the camera. So, no, I agree with you. You know, for me, I was very hesitant about it. And you can obviously you can watch it in season one. My video quality has improved from video quality from the phone because I did not want to be seen. Oh. But now, like my dad says, I have diarrhea of the mouth. So. This is kind of what I want to do. Now, I tried, I'm not like a perfectionist. I'm, even though my sister says I have a Napoleon complex, I, I like being center of attention. But this is my talk show. You know, this is what I do. I don't walk around walking thinking I'm all great or anything. But anyway. You work hard to get to there, and I think you should enjoy it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So the next one I want to ask you, did you go to college or not yet? I am a senior in high school. I'm going to graduate early because I am not going to college. I'm going to be an actor. So I'm going to do all of that in the acting field and the modeling field. And I think college is just not for me. Are you a fan of Futurama? Mm, I don't know. No. If I find the clip, I can't make any promises because I like to keep my promises. But I will find a clip. There's a scene in Fusarama where, long story short, there's a guy named Fry. He's from the night, um, from the nineties. Okay. Yeah, I think that's oh, like twenty okay. first century. So he gets frozen. And he goes a hundred years into the future. So he becomes friends with a bunch of people. And he's like, oh, I went to con I went to college. Yeah, but everyone knew what 21st century college was an expensive daycare center. It it pretty much is. <laughs> Plus, <Come on. laughs> you're stuck with all those damn loans afterwards. My dad's too uh, paying off those student loans. Yeah, I know. Like, I was lucky. My brother, he's in college. He, I have an older brother. And he was lucky to get um a full ride and a scholarship. Yeah. So, you know, no loans, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's easy. Now, the next question I want to ask you is, are you a study nerd or a party animal? Um, party animal. <laughs> I'm, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. I'm not fully, like, party. Like, I don't go out drinking and go out to, like, party parties. Uh, but I don't study. Like, my idea of fun is going out with friends, but I don't, like, go to parties. 
And riding my horse. That's definitely one of them. You mentioned that yesterday. What's the name of your horse? Brisa. So it's B-R-I-Z-A. And it's Spanish for beautiful breeze. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I know, bad joke. <laughs> yeah. But you mentioned Brisa. Any relation? Are you a Dragon Ball fan? Are you, do you like Frieza? Uh, no. I'm not really like, I mean, anime is not really my, like, forte, I guess. That's true. There's some good ones. There's some bad ones. Pokemon Season 1 is really good. And Dragon Ball is really good. Those are the two I would recommend. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to look those up because that sounds intriguing. So the next question I want to ask you, did you have horses all your life? And did you ever want to be in competition? Um, so I got a horse. I've been riding all of my life. Um, but I got a horse in um, 2020 and I've had her for about four years. And then I started doing some competitions, but I'm not really that competitive in the horse field. I'm more of just like pleasure riding and just for fun. No, absolutely. Let's do it for fun. I love horses. I love elephants. Elephants are some reason I like elephants. <laughs> One of my favorites. I like elephants. I like tigers. I like oh, dogs. Tiger. <laughs> love tigers. Elephants are cool because they're like the smart, the smartest animal, I think. Or is that a dolphin? I think it's a dolphin. No, it, well, ocean, it goes whales, dolphins, on okay. land, elephants. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> So the next one, I want to. I mean, go back to horses. I, I mean, I like horses. I'm not scared of them, even though I could be real timid in the beginning. But that's like with anyone. Uh, anything. And I don't want to put this idea in your head, but do you like Christopher Reeves? I don't know who that is. He's the best Superman ever. He's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> I, oh yeah. Then yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I always try to do that bad impression of Trump, but <laughs> best Superman ever. Um, but he had an accident with a horse, and he fell off and he became paralyzed. So ever since then, I've been, I mean, I like horses, but just... They're, they're big animals, you know, they can be scary sometimes. I mean, certain people are intimidated by it, and then certain people are not. It's, it's really a 50-50 field. That's true. And even if you do fall, fall on your feet, land on your feet like a cat. I tried that before and it didn't end up so well. <laughs> I ended up in the hospital, but you know, I tried, right? No, do you, do you always have to try? That's the biggest thing. <laughs> so the next one I want to ask you is social media. Have you ever thought about being a, well, for an example, if you're interested, you can be my co-host. Have you ever thought about creating a podcast? Has social media gave you opportunities to be an actress? I have thought of it. Yes, I've actually thought of creating a podcast a little while ago. And then I think I never just went through it with it because I just like, I've been so busy. But yeah, I have a lot, actually. Well, if you're interested, I would love to work with you. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Not to impose on you. That's no, no, you're fine. You're fine. That actually sounds fun. So. <laughs> so with social media, is there any websites you're on religiously that you have to use? I mean, I'll give you an example. I um, feel like I'm I'm handcuffed to Facebook. So when Facebook and Instagram went down, it's like, yeah, you have LinkedIn and you have TikTok, but it's kind of like, oh, my God, I need my Facebook. Oh, my God, where's, where's my Instagram? I don't know what oh, yeah. to do. Emmy. Hello, puppy. This is my dog. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, he's more than welcome to be here. Yeah, she's kind oh, of she. push, push me over. Okay. <laughs> um, LinkedIn, probably LinkedIn. Can't live without LinkedIn. And... Honestly, Instagram right now, I've been really invested in it. <laughs> what about TikTok? Oh, definitely TikTok. I mean, but I don't like, 
I don't post. I kind of just watch videos. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like one of those that just scrolls, doesn't post. <laughs> I try interacting with people on Insta, well, Instagram too, but TikTok, and they're like, oh, you're a talk show host, and they're like, why do you only have 500 views? And I'm like, I just told you I'm a talk show host with disabilities. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have any proof? You look like a scam. It's like, okay, why am I even bothering using TikTok? But Yeah, that people out. Emmy, <laughs> my dog, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry um, about it. Yeah, I think definitely, hmm. I mean, okay, I use TikTok for my horse. I have a horse account on, on my TikTok. And, like, she gets, like, she's pretty popular, I guess I would say, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but, like, other than that, I don't really, I use LinkedIn a lot. And for work, I guess if we're doing work-related, I use LinkedIn. And for fun-related, TikTok. No, oh, absolutely. My top six that I used to, well, I use, I use LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Well, okay, let's do an ABC order. I'll post for myself. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. That's four. I used to use Twitter. Twitter's hit and miss. And there's a last one. I'm not even going to push her that one. <laughs> but I do have my top four that I have to use. Oh, yeah. I definitely think for me, I think my top would be LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok. And then I don't really use that many apps because I'm not really that into. <laughs> <laughs> But I think those are my top three, if I had to, like, or top four, like, if I had to choose. Yeah, you don't need a whole army. I don't like, I have six, but realistically, you just need, like, the top three, top four. You don't need to have, you know, Snapchat and Tumblr, and because people don't really, I mean, yes, the people use it, but you don't really get a response. Facebook, you get a response. Instagram, response. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just holding my fingers. Oh, no, you're 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 great. <laughs> but you know, it's certain numbers. But my I started use Medium. My friend told me about Medium. I haven't gotten any views. I lost interest in it. But mm -hmm. anyway, I talk too much. But <laughs> the next one I oh, want to ask you is your job. It's true. I don't get paid, but <laughs> still your job. <laughs> it's true. The next one I want to ask you is sports. Okay. Did, what are some of your favorite sports and what sports, well, what activities you like, but it's not really a sport. We'll be here for an hour. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so activities I like that's not a sport. Just go through. Or I'll just go through, I'll just go through everything I yeah, do. Yeah, go for it. Um, okay, so I do horseback riding. Um, I skateboard. I surf. I... Um, do archery. I rock climb. I used to do Taekwondo. Um, I mean, I dance, but that's not a sport, but it's an activity. Um, would cooking be an activity? Yeah. Okay. So I'm a chef. Oh, um, nice. What else? There's a lot more. We'll probably be here forever. Um, oh, Have and you... music. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> and music. I play a lot of music. Did you read my questions already? Because that's the next subject I was going to ask you. Oh, no, <laughs> really? Uh, so let me ask you, have you ever gone and done one of those human pyramids? Or are you not into the whole human pyramid stuff? I've never done those. I'm a loser. I like that stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I've never really been interested in it. For my talk show, it isn't just about, you know, a talk show host with disabilities. I have things, you know, your age and younger. I have a, yeah. I do things for Dumbo. I do things for Jumbo Buck. I have the Human Pyramid Challenges. I would love to do those free with you if you're interested. I, yeah. I would those be interested for you or? Um, I mean, my schedule is up in the air, but I'll definitely let you know. Well, I mean, hypothetically speaking. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not to impose. No, yeah, I mean, I don't really. <laughs> But I do voiceovers for Dumbo. I do voiceovers for John Jumbo Buck. I do reenactments from the movie. I have the Human Pyramid Challenge. So when you look at my network, 
is little things for everybody. It isn't just, okay, he's a talk show host with disabilities. Oh, he does this too. So it's more of a variety show. Oh, cool. That's, that's, I, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> but like I said, I would love to work with you. And, you know, if you ever want to be a, a co-host for a couple of episodes or we can do our own podcast, I'm always up for a collaborator. So you help me, I help you. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll see, I'll, I'll definitely let you know when I'm available. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't want to impose on you. I apologize. You're not. You're, you're good. You're doing great. <laughs> I appreciate it. The next one I want to ask you is COVID-19. Then we can go to the music one. COVID-19, has it impacted your life differently? And do you see things from a different point of view? Absolutely. I, um, I'm very into vaccines because I, I was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which basically, to put it simple, is the left side of my heart didn't form correctly. And I have a pacemaker. Uh, when I was like um, three days old, I think, I had my first open heart. And then um, I had two open hearts after that in the span of six months. I had I went to, into cardiac arrest and I needed CPR. So there's there's a lot, you know. I had a brain bleed. Like it was a, still in the hospital, still having surgeries, you know, never going to be I guess healed in a, in a sense. Um, so COVID-19 really scared me because of everything that has been happening and what I've seen from the news, um, and just everything that I've seen as well. Um, just like being a heart patient and, and having that scare of like, okay, what if I end up in the hospital? What if I'm, I'm going to get super sick or I'm going to get, it's going to get serious and I'm going to die. Like, the reality of it. So it, I think it really, it really intercepted my life with everything that I did. Um, so acting, everything like that, I had to stay home more than the usual as people would, you know, how in 2020 people quarantined. Yeah. I had to quarantine for like two years because I just, we, I didn't feel safe with my heart and and it's just, people are kind of dumbos these days. <laughs> oh, it's uncensored. You can say whatever you want. Yeah. People are idiots these days. <laughs> you know, they they think wearing no mask is going to help. It's like, they're I'm not sick, though, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. And, I mean, there's a lot of people out there. I talked to someone recently. He's like, oh, I don't want a vaccine because... You know, I got a vaccine and now I have a disability. I'm like, what the? <laughs> it doesn't yeah. work like that. That's not how it happens. <laughs> it's like stupid. Yeah, they're making up all the dumb accusations of like everything like, oh, I can't breathe with a mask on. And I'm like, <laughs> I used to live in the hospital with a mask on. I'm like, man up. <laughs> Here, I want to tell you something funny. Do I have your permission to tell you? Sure. Whoa, <laughs> Emmy, that's my camera. Okay. <laughs> Now, there's this, a while ago, a couple of years ago, there's this news story by this guy on Fox News. I know I used to like Fox News, not to talk about political things. You can tell me to shut up if you want. <laughs> but there's this guy on Fox News and he came out and said, yeah, they're injecting you as demon sperm. Don't get vaccinated. I want, how the hell are you on TV and I'm not? <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh i bet that shock on your face was unbelievable when you heard that well you can't fix stupid but you can numb it with a two by four oh. <laughs> <laughs> and i interviewed a nurse and she said well you can't fix stupid but you can sedate it oh. that's <laughs> pretty funny okay that's funny <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, just because you get, I am for vaccinations, but let me explain. But I got the flu shot, and there's two variants of the flu. There's strain A and there's strain B. It mm -hmm. doesn't cover both. Mm -hmm. But it cuts the risk in half. And your mom's welcome to be on the show anytime she wants. I would love to talk to her. But, 
You know, you're ever going to get straight <laughs> eh? I'm trying to manage the dog. <laughs> hey, it's nice to meet you. Too. I'm back here holding the dog down. She's my dog <laughs> being crazy and she's knocking over every piece of equipment in here right now. <laughs> well, if your mom's ever interested, we can do a one on one interview if she wants to. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it going back to the strains, it, there's strain A, there's strain B. It cuts mm -hmm. in and half 50 50. Mm -hmm. Just because you get the shot, does it's not a guarantee that you're invincible. Mm. But you know, I used to work over at Walmart, and, and funny story, in a way, uh, 2020, I got, a lot of people think it was COVID, but they weren't tested in 2020. Worst thing I ever had was stomach virus and flu, flu A at the same time. Oh, and that was horrible. Funny. That's a double header. That sounds awful. I think, what did I have that was awful? I mean, pneumonia? <laughs> Everything. Everything yeah, cirrhosis of my liver. Uh, no, like a sickness. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna like, be honest. I don't really get sick <laughs> because I'm too safe. <laughs> you know, I uh, try to stack up on everything. I take emergency C. I take vitamin C. And my sister's like, "Well, I hope you like kidney stones because <laughs> those are no fun." But you know, yeah. vitamin C and Ellsberries. I try yeah. to boost I try to boost my immune system. But with the last eight minutes, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Okay. But the last two things I wanna ask you. What is your the one uh, new subject called Song of the Day? What song did you listen to today? And what is some of your favorite music? Passing um, it over. Okay, my favorite music, like genre? Hmm. I like eighties. Eighties is good. Um 70s every once in a while is awesome too. Uh, my favorite song, the last song I listened to. Hold on, let me go through it really quick. It was. I listen to so much. It was Green Day. It was American Idiot. Green Day. Oh, that's a good one. Mm, it was act, if I may, I want to ask this to you and your mom. Okay. Um, you probably think I'm an idiot for this one. My dad thinks I am. Okay, um. Eve of Destruction. Do you think that's a good song, or do you think you should have listened to the lyrics? Hmm, good song. I, I think it's good. I said that too. I said, "Oh, I love this song." My dad's like, "You're not listening to the lyrics, are you?" <laughs> um, hey, I mean, it's all about the beat, right? <laughs> that's true. What about Twenty Five Twenty Five? That was a good one. Oh, I don't. I can't say I've heard of that one. I probably oh, have. Funny. Who's that by? Um, it's like it's the year twenty five, twenty five. If men survive, will oh wait, women yeah, survive? I've heard of that. <laughs> I've heard of that. Stop. <laughs> I'm a bad. I'm a bad singer, but. <laughs> So what's so to a lot of music, I, a lot of different kinds of music. I listen to um. I guess pop, rock, 80s, um, punk. Uh, I listen to a lot of, and country as well, you know, when I'm riding my horse. Um, I think I play the most, I mean, I Sweet Old Child of Mine, I play that on electric guitar. Oh, nice. Um, but a lot of, a lot of like rock music, punk music, folk music. So that's the outfit you're going for. I see you're going for the um, punker look. I like the shirt. It's really nice. Hey. Oh, Rem thank you. Reminds me of something in the 90s. I just cut my hair. Yeah, like, having it nice and short is easy. I don't like having long hair. Exactly. <laughs> I used to have really long hair. Really long hair. It used to be like here, and it was like tw I cut 12 inches off. Everybody was didn't recognize me. It was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so what subject would you like to talk about? What I want to get you fired up. Well, what are you passionate about? Mm, passionate about. What were some of your pet peeves? Okay, my pet peeves. Let's do that. <laughs> um, when mean people. mean people. I mean, you're gonna don't be mean. Um, when someone is rude or disrespectful to my grandma. <laughs> Very. Don't get me started on that one. <laughs> um. Hmm. Just idiots in general. That's true. 
people who don't like animals, people who think they know everything um, <laughs> when they don't, uh, people, children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like kids, not in that way, obviously, but as long as they're well behaved, that does all that matters. If they're wild, out of control, I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't like entitled kids. Yeah. I don't like disrespectful kids. And I'm very big on like respect your elders because I grew up that way. But every once in a while, I'm like, okay, you're okay. <laughs> nice. But I'm not really a kid fan. So. That's true. <laughs> what about what are some of your turnoffs? Yeah, and it's you can that can go either way, but not to impose. Uh, but it's not that type of show, obviously, because I if it was, I would be kicked off the air. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, some of my turnoffs is when I interview someone. If you're sitting like this, like an asshole, or you sit like this, it's kind of like why am I interviewing you? You look like you can. You're bored. And you're making stupid faces. And so <laughs> I just like I can't... stare at the camera, just like <laughs> or make what? a face. Um, hmm. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna jump in and say, uh, you know what? It really bothers me. People who no who the disabilities disabilities who don't um who they treat people with disabilities equally, or yeah. whether it's physical mental whichever um intellectual whatever it's really hard oh, to watch i have the um, best one people who fake service dogs yeah. oh my god <laughs> that's true yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh -uh, your, that is no, a big pet that's peeve. a huge pet peeve for me i do not like people who fake service dogs i mean yes i get it you want to bring your dog in the store but Come on, you're ruining it for like people like me who actually need one yeah. and your dog is lunging at my dog and then you say I'm the problem. Like Yeah, absolutely. A service dog should never ever lunge at another dog. Yeah. Or like be in the cart or be or be in the cart. Or no. eat things off the shelf. <laughs> or lick anything off the shelf. Like and they say my dog is misbehaving. And I'm like, my dog's just sitting here <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> and your dog is barking at my dog. Like, go away. Oh, you, well, let me be honest with you. Some people are just full of shit. With it. <laughs> and because if your dog is a service dog and it's barking, growling, doing huh. certain things, those are red flags. Barking, growling, going after people. That is not a service dog. Now, there's a difference. There's a service dog and a companion dog. Now, yeah, the therapy or the emotional support. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're kind of the same thing, but the service dog gets more rights than a companion dog. Service dog you can bring on an airplane. Companion dogs you really can't, but you can argue with it. But yeah. the last one I want to ask you real fast do you have any funny stories or any have you worked in retail before? I have not, but I do have a funny story. Go for it. This is your time. Okay. So um I used to when I was in sixth grade, I had this teacher and um you know, like we were we were like acquaintances. We were nice and like we uh and it was a female. Her name was I'm not gonna say her name. Um <laughs> And I went to Costco with my mom and we're in the Costco aisles and I thought I saw my teacher. So I went up to her and I said, oh, hey, Mrs. Da -da -da. It's it's so nice to see you. Yeah. Um, the person turned around. One, it wasn't a female. And two, it wasn't my teacher. <laughs> and then the, the, wor the worst part is, is he had a son and that son knew my dad. So like, he's like, oh yeah, like I know your husband. Like, and I'm like, get me out of here. <laughs> Don't talk to them. <laughs> it was, I think the most embarrassing moment of my life. I, I mean, I have some funny stories you can talk about off the air, but the one embarrassing thing I did, I was thinking I was about five or six and I went to shop right with my family. And I'm like, oh, stay right here. I'm gonna go, go get something and come back. Obviously, my parents went off. Uh, actually, you know, it's my dad and my sister. And I thought I recognized the jacket. So I 
I think I put like a box of cereal and apple juice into some stranger's wagon. And I'm like, oops, sorry. And I walked away. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, um, oh, and then uh, when we, I was at the beach with my mom. This was after an appointment, and we like got lunch and we had food, and we went to go like in the sand. And uh, oh, we haven't seen <laughs> we haven't seen the beach in a while because it was like you know COVID and everything, and. We go down, I'm like, I'm going to go see the water because I haven't seen the water in so long. Apparently, I forgot that seagulls exist um, yeah. because I go down to the water and my mom's like filming me all touristy. And then this lifeguard truck pulls up and he goes on his intercom and goes, tourist, tourist, please get your food, tourist. The seagulls are getting it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm from here. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And the seagulls were like, and then everybody was like, <laughs> they were like laughing. I was like, I'm gonna leave. They were like, when you come to these beaches, you have to watch your stuff, tourists. <laughs> yeah, it's like seagulls exist. I'm like, I know that. <laughs> it was, it was oh, that was embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. And there we were left. some really cute surfer guys here, and they were like, ooh, a tourist. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> Worst moment. Well, wrapping up, I do have a couple questions for you off the air. It was a real honor, Papa, to have me as a guest. I'm looking forward to part two down the road and building a friendship with you. I just want to say thank you very much. Our yeah. goal is to reach 500 or more views once we do that. Definitely we do a part two, but you're more than welcome to be on the show anytime, any place that you like. More than happy to help you. But wrapping up, it was a real honor and privilege and until we meet again, catch you later. Thank you and have a good night. <laughs>